Hello and welcome everybody to today's lecture about understanding the electric grid, the requirements, the structure and the grid stability. Your benefit of the course is basic understanding of the principle of the electrical grid, understanding of the tasks and how they are assigned to the individual devices and apparatus and also I will give you explanations of typical solutions as state of the art. This course is not meant as a engineering class, I will just give you general overview and general understanding. So the essentials for resilient electricity systems are two focuses. Focus number one is energy as a global quantity and focus number two is power as a local quantity. And for the sake of completeness, I show you the full content of my lecture. Today, we will focus on the three-phase system and the synchronism. So, let's get started. We apply the law of induction. For this, we need two essential things. One is a horizontal coil that is lying, and second, it is a magnet that can turn in this coil. So, for example, if we turn it just right now, you will see the magnet has turned around from north to south, from south to north, and we have induced a little boost of voltage. The voltmeter has flipped to the right side. Now we go back and we turn it again. And you see the voltmeter has moved to the other direction. And so it goes on and on. Now to make a transition to the three-phase generator, we need again these ingredients. The rotating magnet, the horizontal coil, and to make it more like engineering, we put around it a core of iron in which the magnetic field makes it very strong. And again, we see the essential. It is the horizontal coil and the magnet. And for the sake of simplification, we just compress this coil into one little red coil at the top of this machine. Now, engineers try to become very effective and they found out that they can make three machines in one, so three in one that is very, very efficient. So we add one more coil tilted by 120 degrees and another, a third coil tilted by another 120 degrees. And all together we have now the full picture of this electrical generator. Here it is. Now let's see what happens if this generator moves. One, two, three. You see the magnet is rotating and if you look careful at the little arrows, take the red coil number one, you will see it is activated and deactivated, activated and deactivated. And the same happens to coil number two in brown and coil number three in green. Now let's add a user, for example, a heater. And now it comes the grid. The grid is represented by a very, very, very big machine. And if we replace the load by a motor, for example, you see all these are rotating in the same sense, at the same speed, in the same direction. And this is the secret of the three-phase system. But now what happens if one generator, our generator to the left side, to the left side, you see it here, wants to get out of synchronism. For example, it moves forward. And now I tell you a secret there is something that we call the electromagnetic spring. It's made up of the interaction of the magnetic field and the currents that are in this machine. And this one pulls the magnet back into synchronism. So this is the way how we established synchronism. The advantage of a three-phase system and synchronism are fourfold. Advantage number one is it is very simple to generate step-up voltage, resulting in low currents, low losses and long distance power transport. Advantage number two is synchronism and by this, due to the law of conservation of energy, it can be shown that effective power balancing between in-feed and outtake of energy and power happens with the speed of light. So this results in a natural power frequency control. Advantage number three is the three-phase system is economically very effective. Instead of two wires for the normal single-phase system, we have just three wires, so the transmitted power is multiplied by three and the number of wires is just doubled. 
and also virtually no return current for loads or infeeds. And advantage number four is the use of electrical machines becomes very simple because this rotating magnetic field enables simple constructions and reduced vibrations. So this was the lecture about three-phase system and synchronism and please stay just on for 10 seconds. Once again, watch with me this ballad of all these rotating things in synchronism at the same speed, the same sense of rotation. So this was today's lecture about the three-phase system, about synchronism, and I thank you very much. Please stay tuned to my channel and hope to see you again. Thank you very much and bye-bye.